Welcome to Dar Headlines. I'm Anthony Carlisle. Thank you for joining us. Ten days of rain from October 20th to the end of last month has hampered the harvest for Burmese farmers. Everyone was caught off guard by the unexpectedly wet weather in what was supposed to be dry season. However, villagers have refused to see their hard labour washed down the drain and have come up with a number of ways to save their crops. The rice growers also say they were grateful for Tsuji's fertiliser, which was distributed in the aftermath of the cyclone. One farmer even prepared a sample from his healthy crop for volunteers to bring back to Master Zheng Yin as a token of his gratitude. The destruction of nature has brought severe hardship for Burmese farmers. These were reaped before the rain. Because of the rain, we cannot harvest the rest. The grain has even sprouted. Unable to afford harvesters, Burmese farmers reap by hand. However, the unexpected rain has further strained the already laborious task. In Myanmar, fall is supposed to be dry season. But since October 20th, a 10-day rain has gravely damaged the crops, dampening them and causing the unharvested grains to germinate. Looking at this 10 centimeter sprout, we know even though the fields have matured, the grain is now useless. Such inefficiency is commonplace in the rural areas of Myanmar. The solution is a grain separator like this one, located in the Da village of Kaldan town. However, even a manual device cost around 400 US dollars and is an unobtainable luxury for the poor farmers. When the crops are dry, 400 to 500 baskets can be separated in a day. But with dampened crops, only 200 baskets can be done. These five grants tell of the hard labor of the farmers. Despite the plight brought about by the unexpected weather, the humble and content farmers are grateful that city's fertilizer has granted them a better than ever yield. Farmer Tan Xiao says his harvest is usually between 60 to 65 baskets, but he's expecting 70 to 75 baskets this year. He told the volunteers that because of the fine quality of Tsuji's fertilizer, this year his crops have grown especially well. Take a look at these crops. You see, they're very fat. The farmer is telling us that because the fertilizer you gave them, the crops are very healthy. Tan Chiao also picks out six teams of rice ears for volunteers to bring back to Master Zhenyan. Carefully arranging them and packing them in a plastic bag, the farmer reminds the volunteers to take meticulous care of them. Please deliver these to Master Zhenyan so she knows the fields were fertilized well. I want her to be happy about it. Please take care of it. Don't squash it. I'm worried that the rice will get separated from the stem. Tan Chiao hopes that by giving Master Zhenyan a sample of his healthy crops, she may put her mind at ease. Volunteers will carry this gratitude across the ocean to the hand of the master.